New tonight at 10, federal aviation investigators are headed to Baldwin County tonight after a plane crash. Authorities say the crash at the Baymanet Airport killed one person. NBC 15's Corey Pippen was at the scene all day today. He has the latest. Local authorities tell me one person was found inside that plane, which appears to have run off the taxiway here at the airport. Why that happened and how the person died is still a mystery. NBC 15 was there as Baymanet's airport was blocked off for hours today. First responders rushed to the scene after fire officials say a 911 call came in just after 1230, alerting them to a downed plane. First to spot the wreckage, according to police, was a Coast Guard helicopter conducting training. The damaged single-engine aircraft, identified as a Grumman American AA-1, was found a few hundred yards from the airport's main building. It apparently crashed off the main taxiway with one person still inside. The occupant was pronounced dead, and Baymanet fire crews noted the plane did not have any visible fire damage. The victim has not been identified, but we did see a tow truck haul away a car with an Alabama license plate. We also know there are only three planes of its kind registered in the state. Thankfully, the airport and the scene of the crash is far from homes and does not appear to have threatened property. Neither police nor fire officials were able to comment on camera today as the investigation is being handled by the Federal Aviation Administration and the National Transportation Safety Board. I'm told investigators from the FAA are expected to arrive tonight while NTSB officials should be here tomorrow morning. We'll keep working to learn more about the crash and we'll include that information in the story on our website, mynbc15.com. In Bay Manette tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.